I think if, if we continue to see this disconnect between the U.S. and China, you're going to see new supply chains being formed. Uh, we're already seeing some manufacturing move to places like Malaysia and Vietnam and even Singapore, which is a high cost nation. But it's really in search of more talent and, and, and also potentially markets that can consume a lot of this technology. So I think India will play an important role in the future. If India can continue to focus on building up the infrastructure and making that available, I think there, you know, you, you, the India has a very strong talent pool, especially over the years, the amount of work that they've done in the IT space. I think some of that will pivot more towards trying to figure out how to impact uh, the design of a lot of this AI hardware and also the applications that will sit on top of the hardware. I think in general, companies will look to find better ways to move up the value stack. And we're seeing it today with semiconductor companies. And what's interesting to point out about that is the fact that for the first time in a very long time that I can remember, and I've been tracking this industry for over 30 years, the semiconductor companies are enjoying gross margins that are very similar to software companies. And, and if you look closely at semiconductor IP companies like Arm and Rambus and others, they're, they're still generating gross margins of over 90%. And so this is sort of unheard of, but a lot of it is because we're moving to an era where it's not just about chips and packaging, but it's about designing systems within systems. And so the level of knowledge and capability you need to have is, is going to only escalate in terms of complexity. And so you're going to need the talent pool to be able to take advantage of that.